Market continues to grind up here midday. It's uh, 9.30 here on the Pacific Coast. We're at 15.38. We were basically trading here this morning pre-market. So we're, we're, we've gone a little higher. We got up to 15.40. And uh, uh, the trend, as you can see here on a five-minute chart, has been nothing but up since uh, the open really yesterday, really since uh, mid-morning. So I'm just watching this. Uh, we, we, again, did tick down to uh, 15.26. Here's a 15-minute chart. And uh, we took 1519 rather. Since then, we've just been one way straight up rocket ship. You've got uh, resistance here 44. Again, that's where we were selling last week. I think you could probably sell all the way 44 to 52, build into a short if you want to trade the spoos. On the stock side, we got long some SMSC this morning. Uh, we took a small gain out of it, it proceeded to ramp up. We were buying at 37.50 area and it ran up to uh, 39.50 is where it is right now. So I missed a good chunk of that, uh, but uh, did uh, get short. Made some money on uh, shorting Garmin again this morning, shorting uh, Las Vegas Sands, also shorting uh, um, uh, Bear Stearns on that ramp into the 120 area. So those three names uh, paid us some money on the stock side. And uh, right now we're just uh, kind of holding some other... Uh, longer term uh, positions. I have done no futures trades today. I haven't seen an opportunity. So I'm waiting for the opportunity to arise. Um, and uh, the 10 years up actually 42 ticks today, 46.56. So the 10 years fine. The long bond is actually down. So it's kind of interesting. You've got a divergence between the 10 year and the 30 year uh, and interest rates. The VIX is down to 17.55. Just very, 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 uh, that is a very, drip drop and the volume today is god awful so the vix is down here 1755 and uh, housing is hitting new lows on the day 347 uh, here's your vix again has just gotten slaughtered the last uh, couple weeks here so we were up here in the mid 20s now the, now we're all the way back down to the teens and uh, I, I might look to be a buyer of some more vix calls down in here as we come into the uh, october earnings season so that's it. I think, uh, again, you got to buy the VIX down to 15 and uh, see if the market can't come back. We're getting oversold now on the VIX on a, on a daily chart, and I'm going to start buying some additional calls. I am already along some calls. I'm going to buy some additional uh, VIX calls as we go into uh, this uh, October period.